Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver here on a 2021 Cadillac XT5. So a big question we get here at eTrailer whenever someone's installing a trailer hitch on their vehicle is if the hands-free liftgate feature is still going to work. That's obviously a big point of concern for a lot of our customers, so it is important it's still operable with the trailer hitch installed. And as you can see here, by just simply waving our foot back and forth under the vehicle, our hatch does open, verifying the functionality of the hands-free liftgate feature. So this is what our trailer hitch looks like installed on our vehicle, and we're ready to use it. Now, thankfully, everything is actually hidden behind the bumper here, and on this particular model, we have the center knockout panel, which we can easily reinstall when we're not using our hitch for a completely hidden installation, as you can see here. It doesn't interfere with the knockout panel, so we can reinstall that no problem. So adding a trailer hitch here to your XT5, it's going to be an excellent option because it's going to make your vehicle that much more versatile. Now we can obviously use a trailer hitch for towing, but if we wanted to hit some trails, or free up some space inside the vehicle for our family on those long road trips, we could easily attach either a hitch mounted bike rack or a hitch mounted cargo carrier. So in regards to towing, our trailer hitch here is gonna provide us with a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the amount where we can pull outward on our fully loaded trailer. It also has a 750 pound tongue weight rating. That's gonna be the downward force here on the receiver tube. We can also use this trailer hitch with a weight distribution system, and in which case our capacities are going to increase to 6,000 pounds. The tongue weight, however, will remain the same at 750. Now keep in mind these capacities are for the hitch only, which is tested separately of the vehicle. Therefore we need to verify the vehicle's towing capacity in your owner's manual and abide by the lower of the two rated components, whether that's the hitch or the vehicle. So the size of the receiver tube on our trailer hitch here, it's gonna be two inches by two inches, which is an industry standard measurement. And the reason that this is great is, it's gonna allow us for a much wider variety of those hitch mounted accessories to choose from, such as bike racks and cargo carriers. It also allows us to carry more bikes if we have the need to do so. So if we take a closer look at the side of the receiver tube, we're gonna have our industry standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin hole. That's gonna work great with our hitch pin and clip. Keep in mind, those are actually sold separately. They don't come with the hitch. And the reason for that is most of your ball mounts, bike racks, and cargo carriers are gonna come with their own hitch pin. And then welded to the bottom of the receiver tube, we have our safety chain loops. Those are gonna work great with both the larger clevis style as well as the smaller S-hook style. So in regards to installation, this one is very simple. It's definitely something I think you guys can do at home by yourselves with just common tools and a little bit of mechanical knowledge. You actually don't have to have a lift at all to install this. I will say there is one tool you may not have and that's a torque wrench, but thankfully we have some cost effective options you can pick up here at eTrailer along with your hitch. Or in most cases, the local auto parts stores in your area allow you to rent that torque wrench free of charge. So now we got a couple measurements for you here. The first one is the distance from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening. It's gonna be right at 19 and a quarter inches. And that's gonna be useful when you're selecting your ball mount. That way you can make sure you get the correct rise and drop to tow your trailer level. And then we have the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the bumper. That's gonna be right at five inches. And that measurement there is gonna be useful when you're selecting your folding accessories, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. That way you can make sure that while it's in the stowed position, it doesn't contact the vehicle. Now let's go ahead and jump right into that installation so we can give you guys the confidence to do it at home by yourself. So the first step of our install, we need to get a T10 Torx bit and we're gonna be removing the center knockout panel. So sort of recessed in these little openings on the bottom here, we're gonna have our Torx screws. So we have one on each side. We need to remove them both. And then once we get those out, we should be able to pull our panel down and away from the vehicle. Just like that. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come underneath the vehicle here to either side. We're gonna be installing the hardware into the frame. So first thing we're gonna do is locate the access hole here and then our three mounting holes, which is here, here, and then one back here. 
So in order to get your hardware into the frame, you're gonna take the pole wire that comes in your kit, you're gonna feed the coiled end through the hole that you want the bolt to come through, and you're gonna fish that up into your access hole. Then you'll pull it down like so. Next, we're gonna take a spacer block, place that over the coiled end, and then thread on one of your carriage bolts. Then, We'll go ahead and shove the spacer block up through the access hole like so, and then our carriage bolt, and then we'll just simply pull them down through our mounting hole. Just like that. So we're gonna repeat the same process on our other two mounting holes on this side, and then the three on the other side of the vehicle. So now with an extra set of hands, we can raise our hitch up into position and secure it to the vehicle using the provided hardware. So I do want to point out, we had a little bit of trouble getting the hitch into position, particularly over on the driver's side here. And we can show you a little bit better why that was. There's actually a sensor here on the back side of the bumper fascia. Yours may or may not have this. If you do have that sensor, you want to be careful. But all we did was pull out and away here on the fascia to give us room to slide our hitch tube between that sensor and our exhaust. And now with all of our hardware in place, we're going to grab an 11 16th inch socket and we're gonna tighten and torque all of our hardware to the specifications in our instructions. And that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Kurt trailer hitch receiver here on our 2021 Cadillac XT5.